What's shaking everybody? It's your boy King of the Golden State coming at you with a slightly delayed haul video. And the reason why I say that is because this is a haul pretty much from the uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con that happened over the past weekend. Yeah, I know it's Friday, but I kind of dragged it out during the week. I'll admit it. But, you know, I figured I'd show you guys what I picked up from the uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con. Nothing too wild. You know, maybe one key or two, but, you know, a lot of them were just fillers. So, um figure why not I'll just fill it up fill this video up with a few filler issues you know show you what I picked up so starting off kind of filling my collection here of uh, the Ferris series and this is Ferris number eight and uh, I believe or I believe the majority of this series has got all um, Adam Hughes covers so I picked up number eight when I found it over there number nine and let me see also number 10 I picked up and also number 11 and that's all I could find at the uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con I'm still missing some issues but I'm sure I'm gonna probably find those pretty soon but uh, yeah uh, the Silicon, you know to discuss it real quick in the middle uh, this whole thing uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con was a pretty cool uh, event. Uh, they improved it from last year. Last year was uh, kind of a disaster because the problem was they put the uh, photo ops uh, section in the middle of the uh, con floor and that created a lot of issues. You know? And what they did this year is they separated that, uh, the photo ops section, from the, uh, from the con floor. So you have a lot more space and you don't have to worry about all this traffic, constant congestion. And it was a cool, you know, if you guys are, if you guys are ever in California, you know, and Silicon Valley Comic Con, I believe comes around, I believe it's around April now they're doing it. So, you know, and it takes place in San Jose. So if you're in the area around that time next year, feel free to stop on by. If you're in Southern California, drive on up. No big deal. But, uh, I think it's worth your time. It's not too bad. I mean, you know, it's hosted by Steve Wozniak, the guy... You know, does like you know, he's pretty much the guy who runs Silicon Valley in a weird way. But you know, I saw I saw him on a uh, what did I see him on? Uh, what's a seg? He's like on a Segway. That was kind of weird. But I mean, it was kind of weird to see him. I was on a Segway. I'm like walking to one of the outside events they had going on outside where they serve food, and I'm like, oh my god, look, Steve Wozniak. Hey, what's up? You know, so it was kind of cool. Oh, speaking of food, um. If there's one criticism I had with being out there was the food. Um, like, the some of the food trucks kind of sucked. And, uh, like, some of the restaurants around there still haven't caught on to it, uh, to the uh, Silicon Valley Comic Con. They're not taking it, I don't think they're really taking it seriously, because going into a, uh, going into the, um, like, a Subway, I saw, you know, a Subway uh, sandwich shop. They ran out of wheat bread, and it's like they also ran out of like Ital I believe Italian style bread. I forgot what it was, but my friend couldn't get that. But they were still running out of food. Ran to uh, Evan. Uh, he's a uh, you know shout out to Evan. Uh, God, I forgot his channel. Jesus Christ, it'll come back to me if I can find it. And, hey Evan, if you're watching this video, please you know uh, write you know post up your channel uh, in the comments or something like that. But it was cool running into him. Uh, he had a pretty cool um, a, uh, Moon Knight uh, get-up, which I was kind of thrown off by. It was kind of cool, but yeah, you know, anybody else, you know, who sees me at cons, you know, and if you see this tall guy, because honestly, I can't look for anybody in a crowd. It's much easier to just come and see me, so if you ever find me, just, you know, tap me on the shoulder and say what's up, but uh, I don't know. I, pro I think I have another two cons with me this year, and that's about it, but uh, anyway, let me get on to more stuff, guys, real quick. Uh, another Adam Hughes book, uh, The Vengeance of Vampirella. Um, I'm not really looking to grab a bunch of these issues, you know, of Vampirella, but if it's got Adam Hughes's, you know, artwork on the cover, I'm probably going to jump at it just for the hell of it. But uh, I only found out one, and uh, there was another booth that was at the Silicon Valley Comic Con where nobody was re actually really managing it. So I was kind of looking around, seeing if anybody was going to, you know, come around and say, hey, uh, you know, you, you want to buy that book? And I was like, Okay, but, you know, I didn't want to risk, like, taking a book and looking around to see who's running the booth, because next thing you know, somebody's trying to accuse you of stealing, so you don't want that to happen. 
but I found in some other booth I found this Vengeance Vampirella. Pretty cool cover. I like these Adam Hughes covers that yeah, he does. Um, and also, filler, of course. Picked up Fantastic Four, 354, kind of filling things up there. Uh, another Fantastic Four, uh, 374. This is like, I think about 30 issues after the uh, the uh, Arthur Adams uh, uh, small stint of uh, Fantastic Four. I think they were trying to capitalize on it. And, uh, didn't get it for two bucks, got it for a lot less. Uh, and, they, and some of these I found in 50 Cent bins, like uh, 396, a Fantastic Four. This one is definitely a 50 Cent bin. Uh, Fantastic Four Annual. Um, trying to fill up that series. Uh, let me see, I also picked up, uh, found this one by uh, Arthur Adams cover. It's uh, Secret Avengers number 22. I thought that was pretty cool. And this one, you know, I found, and I thought it was a pretty cool one, it was uh, the Mighty Thor 388. You know, alone against the Celestials. This kind of reminds me of the uh, the um, full Ragnarok trailer. You know, it kind of has that Jack Kirby, uh, um, you know, look to it a little bit. But you know, but the cover is done by Ron Friends. But uh, yeah, so I picked that up. Let me just get some more room. What else did I pick up? Some like like I kind of just raided around the Fifty Cent bins a bit. You know, because that was an easier way to pick up Fantastic Four. Because like. You get, I guess you could say around a certain run, around a certain point of Fantastic Four's run, it wasn't really spectacular. But I figured I'd capitalize on getting these books for like fifty cents, like three fifteen a Fantastic Four, three sixteen. Yeah, yeah. What else did I pick up? I also picked up uh, what other Fantastic Fours I pick up? Oh yeah, uh, three fifty eight. Got to change the bag on that one. That was pretty interesting. Here we got a cover swipe of a. Uh, I believe it's Fantastic Four 48, and this is a 390, uh, and they got that. I think that may have been all the Fantastic Fours I picked up. Nope, I'm wrong. <laughs> also got some other stuff, yeah, because these are just fillers. I got to rebag these. Uh, th 235 Fantastic number, Fantastic Four number 235, 203. What else? These are keep in mind. These are like 50 cents. 212. You know they're listed as two bucks. Also, 210. Yeah, so I gotta add those to my list to make sure they're into the collection. So I gotta log those in at some point. Also, filling up on the Cage series. Uh, only had one issue I found there. Like I said, I found them in the 50 cent pile, along with, like, say, Justice League of America, another Adam Hughes art, uh, artwork here. Same thing with this one as well. The Justice League of America by Adam by Adam Hughes kicked major ass. Love that stuff. So, kind of. I didn't want to get the whole series of that, but I just wanted to fill, just get a filler. Uh, speaking of filler, picked up this for fifty cents. Was a War Journal Punisher War Journal. I picked this up by accident. And, you know, it's fifty cents, but you know, it's Punisher War Zone. Uh, I'm not crazy about the Punisher War Zone, but I was like, you know, what? I picked up for fifty cents. I picked up for like thousands of dollars i kind of went on an adam hughes like binge man like one booth gave this to me for free because it was in a quarter pile and he was, he was wondering if i was gonna find anything else in the quarter pile and i told him i didn't find anything else so he, he's like you know what i don't feel like giving you change so just take it so for a quarter or basically free barbed wire and i don't really care about barbed bar wire to be honest with you i just like the cover another adam hughes you know drawing and uh and this one I just got for, just for the reader in me. I already have a slabbed copy, but this is a reprint, uh, I believe, Silver Surfer number four, I think. Uh, of course, this is a, you know, a cover swipe of that issue, um, with Thor versus Silver Surfer. And I already have it slabbed, so I just felt like having this one just to read it, just for the hell of it, you know? So it was a perfect, for me, it was like 50 cents. Perfect reader's copy, so... Pick that up, and then now on to the big boys. Uh, picked up Captain Marvel, or the sensational new Captain Marvel number eighteen, and that's when uh, Carol Danvers gets her powers as Captain Marvel. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, also filling up my Flash collection. You know, this one's kind of a tattered copy, but you know, I I figure why not? You know, I mean, I might just. 
get this one uh, pressed and just slabbed. I mean, it's a little faded. It's got some little action over here going on, but, you know, the guy was selling it for 45 I talked him down to, like, 30 And uh, he said, sure, why not? I mean, you know, as long as he, to he told me a story. And the guy, the guy, the guy in the booth had so many stories to tell. He just told me stories left and right. Some pretty inappropriate, but I was like, yeah, I'll sit here and listen to you. You know, so he also gave me a pretty good deal for the book. So there was that. So, I mean, I'm probably going to get that one pressed. And even though it's got a lot of, I don't know if it's even worth getting pressed. This might just be straight reader's copy for me. But, I mean, it's got a lot of action. I got some color breaks and got a little tear here and a little chip right there. But, I mean, who knows? I mean, if I get it pressed and clean, it might come back to me as a two. And I, I don't know. I wouldn't be more of the wiser. It's not too bad. I think it's the second appearance of Mirror Master. Flash number 109, because I believe 105 is the first appearance of Mirror Master. I kind of wish they did more with Mirror Master on the TV show. Like, last week's episode of The Flash was cool. It had Mirror Master in it. Hopefully, I'm not spoiling anything. But you kind of wish there was more. You know, they could have done with Mirror Master instead of just making him like a secondhand villain. But a lot of those rogue gallery villains were secondhand villains in a way. And of course, this one I got, which I'm going to get cleaned and pressed and the whole shebang. This one I couldn't say no to, and I already posted this on my Instagram. I think I posted it on my Instagram and my uh, and my uh, Facebook page, but uh, picked this one up. Uh, I knew a guy who was selling it to me, and he was driving a hard bargain, but I, I couldn't say no, which was Daredevil number one. So what I'm probably going to do is send this out and get it definitely get it pressed and cleaned. And there's a little spine roll here, so I'm going to try to see if I can get that spine roll out. But uh, there's a little color break here in the middle, and I thought they were trying to do like a like a submit like a a uh, subscribe like a, a su subscriber crease or whatever. But you know, it's okay, it's fine. I mean, there's some little color breaks over here, but I'm gonna try to get this thing pressed and clean. I'm hoping for either a three five or a four at best. Hopefully a four. You know, um, yeah. I had to talk them down. I had to plead for this. I didn't plead. I asked nicely, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, first Daredevil, first Karen Page, Foggy Nelson, all those people you love in the, on the TV show, and, uh, I don't know, I think I might actually read this actual issue before I actually get it pressed and cleaned, I'm thinking about sitting out in the morning and just, you know, hopefully getting it back so I can get it sent into CGC and get it, get it, uh, get it graded. Uh, on, that, on that note, guys, have anybody have any issues with CGC as far as like their grades? Because their grades are getting a little strict lately. I like the last couple of things I've seen, you know, as far as stuff I submitted to CGC have come back at some strict numbers. And you know, I sent in a book that came, you know, and I thought it was clean as hell. I thought there was, it didn't even look like it was opened. It didn't, it had corners were sharp, and it still came back like a nine point six. And I was kind of pulling my hair out, like what the fuck? Part of my language, but. There was that, and I got a one book that's coming back restored at a 7 .0, and I'm like, I don't understand that either. So, you know, I'm just kind of wondering, are you guys getting, like, that feeling like CGC is getting a little bit more strict with their grading? Let me know. You know, I'm, I'm kind of curious about it, if it's just me, if I'm going crazy. But, yeah, guys, um, that's about it. I'm going to crack open a beer and watch some basketball and see how things work out with this uh, Clippers uh, jazz game. Hopefully we can see the Warriors play on Tuesday. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Anyway, uh, if you're watching this video and you're at this point, please give it a like. It looks just like that. Thumbs up. And uh, please uh, comment. Tell me what you think of this video. And also, uh, you know, um, feel free to subscribe if you haven't. You know, and uh, if you feel like giving this a thumbs down on, on that thing. If you feel like giving this a thumbs down, it looks like that. Try watching the video first before you start to make a decision. All right. That's about it, guys. I got nothing else. I'll talk to you later. Peace.